All right, here we are again, making questionable use of another evening, chasing high scores in the landing challenges in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Tonight we'll be setting the same goal of chasing that elusive 1.5 million points, but this time at the Gustav III airport on the island of St. Bartholomew in the Caribbean. So the real challenge of this landing is to get the aircraft to sink down over this hill at the front of the runway without picking up too much speed, and then to flare onto a gently downhill sloping runway and get the wheels down in the blue landing marker, all while avoiding the ever-present risk of ballooning, which will see you glide a few feet above the runway all the way out into the ocean without ever touching down. For these first few approaches, I'll be using a technique that was suggested in a YouTube video by the YouTuber Crosscheck. I'll be using a combination of side slipping and forward slipping to try and keep the airspeed down while keeping the vertical speed quite high as we crest that hill. The main problem with this approach is I don't stay very well lined up with the centre line, which makes the final touchdown quite challenging. And I generally end up zigzagging down the runway, trying desperately to stay as close to the middle as possible. Alright, that first landing wasn't too bad. Landing distance was really good, only a couple of feet off the blue square, but as expected, didn't end up all that close to the centre line, and hit pretty hard. So we've got a few things there to work on. So for this next approach, I'm starting from a slightly higher altitude and coming in at a much steeper angle, really leading into that forward slip to try not to pick up too much airspeed as we try and get as close to clipping that railing before the hill as we can. And then we just have to concentrate on trying to do a gentle flare, which is no mean feat on this downward sloping run. And the results weren't too bad. Landed a bit longer than the first attempt, but closer to the centre line this time, and we touched down a bit more gently. So, slight improvement in the score, but still a way to go. Alright, third time's a charm, this time for sure. So we're coming in quite high and steep again here, really leaning into the forward slip, staring over the left corner of the dash, lining up, pointing out way to the right, flirting with as low an airspeed as we possibly can, occasionally setting off that stall warning, and all the time aiming to thread the aeroplane through this gap between the trees and get our landing gear as close as possible to this railing here at the edge of the road. Managed to drop over the hill at about 75 knots, which is not too bad. This time I'm trying quite hard to line up with the centre line before I touch down. But I end up touching down, pointing way off to the right, and have a little dance on the pedals as I try and keep the aircraft travelling as close to the centre line as I can. I really thought I might have been in with a chance here. The landing length was really good, but once again, missed the centre line by too much. I think that's a smooth enough landing to break the 1.5 million. We got pretty close, all we need to do is tweak that centre line and we might be there. So for this last approach I'm coming in high again, trying to keep the airspeed low, but this time I'm trying to stay more on the centre line through the whole approach. I'm trying to keep our forward slips and side slips slightly more under control, slightly less exaggerated, and the whole time trying to keep the aircraft in a slightly more stable configuration, trying to avoid all those really radical twitches that come out of this Logitech joystick. As we come into the trees, we're trying to bleed it down to 70, 75 knots, and see how closely we can skim over this railing. As I come down into the flare, I find I've drifted quite a long way over to the left side of the runway, but at least this time I'm actually pointing down the runway. So as long as I can do a fairly gentle side slip to the right, there's a chance I'll actually be able to land this thing down. So as I do the usual dance on the pedals to try not to drift too far off the centre line, I'm really not quite sure what the score is going to be on this one. Felt reasonably good, but was it good enough? And uh, yeah, well. It looks like we smashed that 1.5 million this time. 
Not exactly sure how this one ended up so much better than the previous one, but I'm certainly not complaining. That's um, definitely my highest position on a world leaderboard so far. So I think I can count that as a successful evening's flying. I hope you enjoyed this, or maybe learnt something about how to land at St Bart's, or maybe killed some time and you had nothing better to do. As for me, it's time to work out which landing challenge I'm going to move on to next. Thanks for watching.